Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now what we are going to do uh, we are going to call the reverse shell side of the code so we can see right here we successfully coded the uh, server side and right now let us exit this and nano reverse shell dot py so we will call it nano reverse underscore shell dot py we add the standard user bin python line and we will import this socket library as we are going to need it to actually uh, specify our socket object. So we can call it socket or just sock so we don't actually uh, confuse it with the socket library. So all we want to do right now is specify the same thing as in the previous video. So socket sock equals socket dot socket. We want to use the socket dot af underscore inet and we want to use the socket dot sock underscore uh, stream or I believe it is stream let me just double check I will just cat my server in order to see okay so it is sock stream okay so we specify the socket object and what we want to do right now is perform the connect function so in order to do that we can just type sock dot connect and open double quote uh, double brackets double open and double close brackets same as in the bind function in our server side code and between there you need to specify the ip address to which you want to connect to and the port to which you want to connect to now in our case both of them will be the same so we need to specify right here once again between the double quotes the ip address of our kali linux which is in my case 192.168.1.9 and also the same port that we used in the server side code so 54321 but be careful if you are running this attack over the internet for example and you use the port forward what you want to specify in the virtual code is actually your public IP address that actually your router has in order to communicate with the internet of course you also need to specify the port forward in your router settings that will actually forward this local IP address to a certain port over the router. But for now on, since we are doing just a local tag at the moment, we can just leave it like this. So what we want to do is just save this and see if we can actually perform the connect function. But before we do that, we need to close the socket in both of our programs, which we can do with just sock.close function. So just write that exit this program let us nano our server right right here as well sock.close save this as well and we know that this program will work if we get printed this line right here so we want to get printed connection established from certain IP address at certain port so let us save this close this and in order to run both of these programs we will need to open two terminals so just open another terminal we can enlarge both of them just for better view even though we don't really need it at the moment but let's have it just so you can see everything better and right here we will, what I want to do is navigate to the same directory so reverse underscore shell and first we need to run the actual server so let us ch mode server in order to make it executable and let's run server code no module name term color so okay we need to run it with python 3 since I use the term color library and we can see listening for incoming connections now we can see right at the moment that uh, we have something that isn't specified correctly so we know that we specify the colors but we forgot to actually add the color which we want to use so in order to do that we need to specify the comma after the string and then the name of the color so we want to print it in green same right here we want to print this in green and let us save and try to run once again so python3 server.py address already in use that is because we actually closed the program two seconds ago in in the inappropriate way so let us actually restart our terminal in order to get this to work now remember every time you get server already in use all you have to do is actually just restart your terminal and it should all work fine right after that so let me just go to my python river shell and python 3 my server name green is not defined okay 
yeah green needs to be specified between the single quotes so make sure to add that as well and right now i believe everything should work good okay so listening for incoming connections and right now this will listen until somebody connects to our program in order to perform the connection we need to run python 3 reverse shell dot py so we run this it says connection established from 192.168 at this certain port so this was the port that was used to perform the connection from the reverse shell now we have a small error right here since we used soc.close instead of s.close in our server so let us just run it once again and let's run this and we can see everything executed properly we got listening for incoming connections we also got connection established from this ip address and we closed both of these programs in the appropriate way. So what we want to do in the next video is actually try to send some of the commands or some of the messages between these two programs. For now on we only made them connect to each other, but we also actually want to be able to send something between them, since these are the programs that will be running on two different machines. At just at the moment we are testing them in the same machine, just from two different terminals. So we will continue coding in the next lecture, hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Bye!